and I want to really try to understand the evolution in the next short period of time. Yes. In the one sense, you're saying that evolution is being driven by Kundalini. Mm -hmm. It's the evolutionary force. Mechanism and force, force. both. But that since mankind is in such a precarious state that we really have to evolve quickly. But yet, because Kundalini is biological, it seems only very few people would get enlightened. And they would basically have very few children. They could only have a certain number of children. Wouldn't you say that if these men do get enlightened, that the real effect of Kundalini would be a social, a psychosocial evolution? That in a proper environment is necessary for, to maximize the opportunity for awakening. Now, if you have political leaders who change the psychosocial environment, they will do more that way than simply they could do, than they could do by begetting a hundred children each. Or was it in your mind that each of these enlightened people, especially the men, should have a maximum number of children? I see. Well, I think that the enlightened man would be very constrained in these matters. He would be far different from your present-day political leaders and social workers. He would know what he is required to do and act accordingly, because he will be guided by a higher intelligence. He will know whether it is power for him to procreate or whether he should conserve his energies for psychosocial revolution of mankind, most probably he, they will not procreate as many children as you think. May be just what a normal man would. Then isn't the acceleration of the evolution, the evolving of man, a psychosocial one by changing the environment rather than the direct line of descendants from these enlightened men? Evolution is going on and by our own way of life, we accelerate or retard it. At the present moment, we are accelerating it, but in a perverse way. We are developing the intellect at the cost of emotion and will. That is the fault in our way of life. Whatever we do, the evolutionary impulse will continue to work. And then, it has so many ways to express itself. It is not only an ind individual pro process, but also a collective pro process. And it is by virtue of this evolution impulse that all the revolutions and all the wars have occurred in the world. Some way will be found to put the evolution of mankind in the proper direction, I am sure of it. Once you make this law known, with all that which is still to be re revealed about the, I should say, the intensely alluring life of the adept, his unbounded joy of life, and the, the work he can do. If you put this ideal before mankind as an evolutionary target and adjust your social, political and educational systems to it, it is not only a few, but I think hundreds, then thousands, and maybe after some time millions will have an awakened Kundalini. They may not reach the same stature, but some may be only of the mediocre height. In any case, thousands of people will be illumined in course of time. This will save mankind. This is the only, this is the only way open to, to survive.